play, and I'm glad to see this again. Gallio and Talia have been two picks you can use now. Well, let's see what Fnatic can do with it. They've got a severe lack of magic damage. As this game continues to play out, Corky will round out not enough distance from Broxa to close. All right, Zoa is going to get caught up by that Shadow Dash Taunt teleport being channeled by Caps. Insta flash from Solo's. The burn's not enough to kill. Now, is there enough to turn this around? Idol of Durand, rather Shield of Durand, locks down two members of RNG. The interrupt. First blood's available. Picked up by Broxa. Flash away from MLXG. He's going to survive. Broxa doesn't go for. Oh, this is so scary. Uzi's going very low. Ambush is going to buy some time. Teleport has been completed by Soaz. Meganar is going to time out. Flashes away from Ming and from Uzi. Jezus is tanking up the tower. That's the first kill. Another to Broxa, second of the game. He's Ming's running for his rush. There's no plant. There's no flash. Broxa hops over the wall. Kill will be secured here. And it looks like it's going to be donated to Soaz. Getting more of these players here. The Galio able to die. Let's also remember now that TP is gone from Xiaohu's side. He's in the mid end though, Caps. What are you doing? Oh, Caps gets what? shut down for some oh, reason. Why? Why, 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 why would you not? And because Let Me are only on defensive duty. Mm -hmm. No one is starting a fight on the bottom side with the Soraka. He's not able to do anything but just watch his tower die. But is this enough? It's a 2,000 gold lead, Fnatic Tower. Uzi and Ming have backed away. We're looking at Fnatic Vision for now. There's Uzi. Starting to move forward after the ambush. A flash engaged from MLXG. Puts the Cataclysm down. He gets stunned up. Caught by the Taunt. Cosmic Radiance is going to buy so much time. Broxa gets a stun onto Uzi. He uses the cleanse to escape. Massive miscommunication on RNG's side. Let me walk back into the lane. We're standing in front of a Meganar. So he could not ult down on MLXG. He thought he had the ulti on him. No chance because let me again walk back in lane. He's coming now. Here comes the package with Jen! All right, that's a defensive flash from Reckless. The taunt comes down. He resembles does nothing to save Fnatic. RNG get their first kills of the fight, and it's a double. They turn the next ones around. That's another for Uzi. Soez has joined after completing his teleport on the tower. Xiaohu gets taken down. Caps and Soez trying to turn this around. Uzi is going to give another tool to Fnatic. I believe it's actually secured by Soaz as well, so he can keep Red putting teams. pressure on Let Me. Keep trying to keep Shen. He's going to be a little bit tired after gnawing out and going back down to Mini Gnar. Form. Good stun on Tuesday on the back end. He manages to sidestep it in fact. Cataclysm locks up MLXG. Stand United completes the combo. Taunt buys a lot of time. That's a great Duran Taunt. First kill of the fight for Fnatic in the tower. Remains alive. RNG are peeling away in a 5v4. Very important that Fnatic win this fight. If they want to get down this tower so badly. There's no ulti left on Uzi's side. MLXG tried to jump in with that Shen ulti, but once again, Fnatic kill it. RNG used everything. The Terra counter pick right there for the Jarvan. They're almost back at full health thanks to the sensor from Terra. Hit, hit, heal, hit, hit, heal. They go for another turret. All right, Tower's being focused down. The shield of Duran threatening a taunt. Just going to give them the option, I guess, to move between those lanes a little quicker. Eventually goes down. Hadrick does so much damage, man, when you're trying to solo it. It attacks faster than all. If he's able in the late game fights to sneak around Fnatic, find a good opening from the side or behind, it gets much harder for Jesse to get. Oh, no, he just walks right around the side. That's gonna be just a little bit late. Skull grab control in favor of Fnatic. They end up using his wish for that siege in the bottom lane, and RNG equalize the middle tower and say, well, we see you. Oh, they backed away. Let's get a ward in the river outside the pit that isn't consistently swept the instant it's put down. For there, do they go for it? Let's find out. 5,000 hit points. Teleports coming down from Soaz as well as Xiaohu. Let me go for it. Line. Cosmic Radiance will buy some time. It's picked up by Fnatic, and it's a flag and drag out for MLXG. Uzi looking to open up. Hasn't fired that yet. Chain of Corruption buys some time. Heroes entrance will save Brox's life ever so slightly. Uzi still looking for a kill. Legends never die until Cap is going down. He's going to get shut down, but securing the Baron. Fnatic have got some more options. Above. They already got the Baron smite. Broxa doesn't even go for it. Only two Cloud Drakes over on Anju's side, but there's still the Burn obviously coming in from this Elder Dragon. Fnatic need to win this game to stay alive. If they don't pull a rabbit out of the hat, they will be eliminated from Worlds 2017. Xiaohu continues to chase forward as the Chain of Corruption dissuades any further chase. Soaz continues to go low, gets to gnar out, and MLXG gets stunned against the wall. Big ult in. It will buy a lot of time. Cataclysm locks all of Fnatic into the pit. Nobody has died again. Uzi is once again the target as Cap uses the ultimate to escape. A flash ball from Uzi. He gets one. Rocks is poison. That's a double. Attention, Cap will be next. It's a double kill for Uzi. Cap will be run down, shot down, and killed. RNG 5 4. RNG been waiting and waiting all game long. 
for this one team fight. They got full items on their carries and they run straight at Fnatic. That might be all it takes if they keep this minion wave alive. They will be able to end the game during these death timers. Nothing Fnatic can do. Jesse stands down the barrel of five members of Royal Never Give Up. They are tearing down the Nexus turrets and the last Fnatic member falls. Guangzhou is on their feet. Legends never die. When Guangzhou's calling out your name, RNG advances to the semi-finals. The play, there was already full items on Xiaohu and Uzi. And speaking of this RNG team, playing the slow match, 10 kills in a 40-minute game, is unlike any RNG we have seen at a world championship before. They can play defense and outscale instead of jumping into unnecessary team fights time and time again. And that has been critical in so many yeah. of their victories on their path to the semifinals. So much focus on the defensive vision, the setup to keep stalling. They will now face SKT in the semifinal. Another team also wants to play for late game, so it should be a very good one. But Reckless and Fnatic, it is so tough. 0-3 in week one. Bounce back week two, make it all the way into the quarterfinals. It's the first team ever to do that after starting down 0-3. Setting records, but the Cinderella story must come to an end. The Fnatic are eliminated from Worlds 2017. RNG, they have themselves yet another shot at SKT. These two organizations have history, have a World Finals history under their belts. Uzi will have one more shot for some difficult uh, emotions on the side of Fnatic, but let's be honest, they were the underdogs. It's a team that has struggled, but until today had risen to nearly every single threat in front of them. They were the underdogs, but it was a close, close series. A lot of games back and forth, hard to predict who, would, who was going to win the single games we saw, even with the big gold leads. It wasn't necessarily locked down and you were going to close it out. Yeah, and that's one of the hardest things about being a competitor in these world championships, is everyone loses except for the champions. So they have to have this moment. And Fnatic getting the applause of the fans on the stage. Absolutely huge credit. The fans here in Guangzhou cheering on not only RNG, but Fnatic as they take to the stage. Reckless, struggling to get up and we heard it emotional words emotional stories he, he actually said this might be my last worlds and it is the summer split mvp of the eu lcs who missed the finals in the eu lcs moved on to worlds though because they won the gauntlet very tough moment for him here wanting to win the world championship so badly overcome by emotion you feel it in the room Feel it in the venue. Europe are eliminated from the World Championships, but by God, did they go down with a fight. Yesterday, Misfits, today, Fnatic. The crowd here cheering on. Of course, the all Chinese squad advances to the semi finals. And that's going to be very, very spicy because 